Hello YouTube. Um, before regular, regular-ish um, service resumes, I thought I should kind of do a video just explaining the last kind of month's absence. I mean, it is pretty obvious given that we are going through a global pandemic why there haven't been any videos for the last month. However, you know, it is something I wanted to talk about, but it seems a bit weird doing that while, you know, cooking a curry. Spoiler, that is the next recipe that will be coming up. Um, so, what's happened? We, we aren't in lockdown. Um, so this whole, you know, everyone's at home, everyone's got all this time, you know, I could be making loads of videos. We're not. Uh, we're both key workers. So, if anything... Hi, what's this poor? If anything, we've been working more. So, um, I certainly have. I've gone from, like, uh, 35 hours to doing, like, 40-plus hour weeks because we're all pulling together to keep this little shop going. Um, so I work at a shop called Easter Greens. Uh, it is the only, the one and only vegan supermarket, green grocers, whatever you want to call it, the only vegan shop in Edinburgh. And I am so incredibly proud of working there and I want it to succeed. I don't want anything to happen to it. So of course I'm gonna pull extra shifts. I'm gonna do extra stuff because I want it to succeed. And also, in a way, it kept me busy because I have not coped well with this in the slightest. Um, I love grocery shopping. It is one of, it is my like favorite hobby next to sitting down and not, not doing anything. Um, but going to the supermarket and seeing the panic buying and seeing everything stripped bare, I I can't cope with that. I just can't. So, yeah, like, by throwing myself into work and making sure I'm looking after other people, that was kind of my coping strategy, which worked most of the time. Sometimes it didn't. Um, so, yeah, I, I was working a lot up until this week so this is why I'm suddenly back because I've suddenly got time um, because you know if I'm working and I've got one day off I've got one day off to like quickly throw some meal prep together I haven't got time to video that and edit it like no way I've barely got time to feed myself properly like I was oh my god before Greg's closed I was living off of Greg's sausage rolls at work because I just didn't have time to make myself lunches so yeah that's why because I was working like a crazy crazy amount Leo is a nurse uh which some of you already know so just woken up with itchy eyes um Leo is a nurse, as you may or may not know. So he's already got a hard deal at work. Full stop. And Leo doesn't actually do the videos, so that's why, you know. I do the videos, I work all these extra hours, it just doesn't happen. Then on top of that, we've been doing our best to kind of look after people. So Leo's parents are elderly and vulnerable. So we've been like doing food shops for them. Nothing big, like we managed to um get them on the list for Sainsbury's it took like Leo going in in person and it took some faffing around but it, we eventually got them on uh, the vulnerable list which means that that takes some pressure off of us but we will occasionally get a phone call you know oh we've run out of milk fine okay um so anything I can get from work I'll normally pick up from work and deliver on my way home anything that isn't vegan because they aren't um Leo will go out get it sometimes he'll like he was using NHS hour so he would go and get it for them come back and I would deliver it on my way to work um or you know vice versa like we'd sort it out between us so that's been like another level of kind of stress because you know right we finally got a day off but what do we need to do for everyone else and then we can sit and have a chill or we can do something we want to do. So, yeah, it feels like it's not even been a month. My last video was a month ago when we were in Amsterdam and this was just starting to kick off. Like, I remember going through Schiphol Airport and there were masks and things and it was all a bit kind of, oh, OK. Um, and after that, we went to London very briefly. Uh, we just did an overnight 
and that was we came back on the monday and lockdown happened at the weekend so that was very very quick and it just feels like it's all just gone so quickly and it's only been what two three weeks three yeah this will be week four now so it feels like it's been forever <laughs> it's been pretty pretty stressful but this is the beginning of things starting to level out there's starting to be some sense of normality so i feel like i can justify sitting down and so far i've been talking to you for like five six minutes so yeah i feel like i can justify sitting down for six minutes while my cup of tea gets a bit colder so i can drink it um and talk to you um you know, I do have other, th I need to go and get medication for someone today and deliver it because they're not on the vulnerable persons list. Um, like I have other things that I are important that I need to do today. I just can't do it yet because it's too early. Um, but I do also f don't feel bad or I feel like I can do things like this. Um, the other thing that kind of stopped me because I disappeared off of Instagram as well for quite a while was it feels wrong to me not a judgment to anyone else like it feels wrong to me to be posting pictures of oh i made this amazing meal when i know people are going without and you know i've had friends get in touch and they're financially struggling like they're struggling with food how on earth do i justify doing food videos and instagram when uh, people are going without and people are struggling so that that was another issue for me um i've kind of made my peace with that so my videos at the moment are going to be about what i've got in the cupboard um and it'll be more of kind of method or a kind of thought process as to how i got from these ingredients to this final thing so that if you don't have exactly what i've got you can still do something or you can use that method or formula to make like curry. It's going to be a curry. You can make a curry using what you have got. You just need to follow these kind of steps if that makes any sense. So I'm hoping that these videos and the things I'm starting to post now are helpful to people because it will be able to uh, provide you with cheap, good food. Uh, on a budget using what you have in the cupboard as opposed to needing to go out and get specific ingredients because I'm well aware that I am in a very very privileged position that I work in a greengrocer so I can get fresh fruit and veg I can get food every single day and I don't have to worry about that but I know that it is a massive massive worry for a lot of people so yeah I hope that makes sense um regu regular regular-ish as regular as life can be right now regular uh, service will now resume hopefully for a while maybe um if you have any questions if you need any support anything like that you know if you find something weird in the back of your cupboard and you want to know what to do with it because you don't want to waste it ask me please i love these things i love questions on food seriously it would make me so happy to help um if you know you've run out of money and you're like oh i've only got these weird ingredients again send me a message i would love to help you uh anything i can do to help please please let me know um normally this is the bit where i would say you know subscribe check us out on patreon yes we have a patron if you want to support us but right now i would rather you support a local food bank uh you support your neighbors your friends you support the people that need it so yeah thank you everyone and I will see you later for a curry video because that's a total surprise now. Spoilers. <laughs> Thank you so, so much and speak to you soon.